Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can connect up a Sega Mega Drive, also known as a Genesis, to a 4K TV. Now the TV in this video is a Samsung TV. And for the purpose of this video we're going to be using the RF connector, which is this lead here that used to plug into the back of the old CRT TVs years ago. Now when it comes to the Sega Mega Drive and other consoles, it would be better if you could use an AV output, such as Composite or SCART. But on old Atari consoles, you would have to use a RF connector. So that's why I'm going to show the RF connector working, because then if you get an AV one, it's obvious you're just going to connect it into the red, white and yellow leads at the back of the TV. But some people get a bit confused with the RF one. So all we're going to be doing is going to the back of the TV. And we're going to be unplugging this cable here, which is the cable from the aerial on the roof. And I'm going to be plugging in this Sega adapter into there. And then the other end of this selector switch here, I'm going to be plugging that roof aerial into here. So I've just taken out the TV and into here. And here we have a little switch where you can switch it between TV and RF. So when you want to use a Mega Drive, we're going to put it over to RF or whatever games console you're connecting. When you want to watch the digital TV, we're going to be putting it over to ANT, which stands for Antenna. Okay, so you can see that the TV is still working because we've got it set to antenna. So now we're going to go down to our games console, in this case it's the Mega Drive. We're going to plug in a game and we're also going to turn it on. You have to make sure that your games console is turned on when you're doing the tuning, otherwise the TV will not find it. We're then going to come up back up to the selector switch and we're going to go to RF. And now the TV signal will stop working and now it's looking for an RF signal from the games console. So we're going to do an automatic scan here. Now it will vary on the TV, but on the Samsung TV you're going to go to settings and you're going to go down to broadcasting and then you're going to go to auto tuning, auto tuning again. And now it's saying that it will erase your current list, but it won't if you do the way that I'm doing it in this video because I don't want to lose all my digital channels. Otherwise, every single time I go from the Mega Drive back to TV, I'm then going to have to retune it. So by doing it this way, you won't lose any of your previous channels. So go to Start, and at the moment you can see it's got Channel Type Digital. Well, we're going to change that, so just press Enter there, and I'm going to go to Analog. Now, I can't go to Digital and Analog because remember, this switch here will only let through one signal at a time. So if it's to here, it's letting through this one, which is from the area on the roof, so that would be Digital. And then here, it's going to be Analog, the one from the Mega Drive. So right now, I'm just on RF, so it's going to be Analog. So we're going to go to Analog Only. And you can see I've got a little tick there, and now it's gone to Analog. Now, this is the important bit. Channel initialization. So basically, select whether to clear all channels and set up new channels or keep existing ones and add new channels. Well, at the moment, it's disabled. So what it's going to do is it's just going to wipe everything and start new channels, which we don't want. So you've got to go to that one and you've got to go to enable. So that's the settings you're going to want. Terrestrial, analog and enable. And now what it will do is when we go to scan, it's only going to scan the analog channels and it's going to keep all the digital channels that we already have. Now, when it comes to the Sega Mega Drive in the UK, it's going to work on channel 36. So you can actually, on this Samsung TV and most other TVs, do a manual search. And in which case, it will go straight to it. But because it whizzes through quite quick, you can see here it's already at 33%. If you just scan for all channels, it won't take long. And when you get to channel 36, it will go one here for analogue. Remember, the analog signal in the UK was turned off a long time ago, so it's not going to pick up anything else. And as well as that, it's not going to pick up anything because we haven't got anything else connected down into that selector switch there. Right, let's pause there for a minute. And if you had a look there, it said, I think it was 589. It's about 590 megahertz, and it's down to 1. So that is the Sega Mega Drive one there now. So I'm just going to let it complete. OK, now it says one channel were found and stored on your TV. So we're just going to go to close. And what will happen is now we will now have a new channel on here. And as you can see, I've got Golden Axe 2 there. And it is under channel. If you have a look here, I've got two channel one. So beforehand, I had BBC one under this one here. But now I've got another one just underneath it, which is for the Sega Mega Drive. So every time I want to play the Sega Mega Drive, all I've got to do is go to channel one, the first one, and move the selector switch over to RF. Now, if I finish with this and I want to go back to TV, all I've got to do is go to that one there, Aerial. And now, remember, I'm still on that channel one, which is a new channel. So now I'm going to go to the second one, which will now be BBC One. 
BBC Two, etc. And that will still work. So all your digital channels will still work. And then when you want to go back to using a Mega Drive, you just go to the new channel, which in this case, they've put it here as that first number one. And then we're going to go to the selector box here and go to RF. And then you will see it is now working up here. So right, so now what we want to do is we want to pick a channel that's not in use. So at the moment, you can see now that's one, two, three, etc. They're all being used, but zero is not being used. So it goes from eight, four, five to one. So I'm going to set up the Mega Drive to work on channel zero. We're going to go to settings and what we're going to do is we're going to go down to broadcasting and then we're going to go over and go down to expert settings and press enter and now we're going to go to manual tuning and press enter and now go down to analog channel tuning again press enter and now we're going to go to new on the right hand side here we've got an option to do new so up to there new press enter and can you see now, up the top I've got program, and this is where you can move it to whatever channel you want. Well, I'm gonna to wanna to do it to channel zero, like I mentioned earlier. And I'm just gonna go down to where it says search, and I'm gonna press enter. And now I'm just gonna go up or down, and it's just gonna start scanning through all the channels. Okay, so now it's moving. And you now let it do its thing. Press enter. And now I'm just gonna go down to store. And now I'm just going to go to cancel. So it's stored it as program zero, which is what I want. So now if I go to cancel like that, and now I can exit out of this. And basically now that will be working fine, picture and sound. Let me take it off mute on channel zero. So for example, now you can see I'll be able to play the game. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you get the idea. And now, if we want to watch normal TV, all we have to do is go to that little selection switch here again. And this time we need to put it back to the aerial there. And now, if we get our remote control and we just go up to channel one, two, three, four, etc., it will be working as normal, just like it was before. So as you can see, nice and straightforward. And the picture is okay, it's playable. It's never gonna look as good as it did on an original CRT TV but it is still playable. Right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.